if men didn't buy our OnlyFans and if men hated us so much for what we do because it's easy money, maybe don't watch it. Because if, as a male, if you guys come to a unity and say, hey, boys, let's stop watching porn so that these dumb, pretty girls can stop getting paid for sitting on their little fucking asses and doing absolutely fucking nothing. And, and, and they're, they're doing nothing and they look so pretty and th- yet they're getting paid more than $400,000 a year. Is that That's how much more than a, Whoa, who's yeah, that? exactly. Holy Wait. Sh- and yeah. it's not by doing nothing. And There's a lot of what, work involved. Yeah. Yeah. So I make more than a doctor and I capitalize off of men. You guys are my biggest fans, even if you're haters. I made over $400,000 last year and it is all because of you. So you guys want to keep clowning on sex work? Keep it up because if you guys just came together as a whole, as men, you guys, we wouldn't be in business. We are profiting off of you. Thank you. (laughs) Keep subscribing to our OnlyFans. Keep talking shit about sex workers because we are making so much more money and I'm about to be at fucking a million this year. So keep it up. And you know the unfortunate part, part about this because I'd love to be able to hold her accountable, and I do on a regular basis, but unfortunately, she's 100% right. Not in necessarily what it is that she's doing and that she should be doing it, because obviously you know where we stand or where I stand on that particular particular issue, but she's right as far as men continuing to do the thing that's the worst for us. <clears throat> you know what the the most unfortunate part about this whole thing and lately i've been on this this kick where i keep telling guys that regardless of where it is that you stand as an individual uh no one man is really above the group because as you go in a large sense we go and i'll give you an example right i'm not a person that has experienced divorce i'm not a person that um has experienced any kind of trauma when, with regard to uh women Right. I've been in a really good space and I come from a decent home and so on and so forth. And I remember when I was younger, you know, I used to look at everybody that was going through certain things as suckers. And the reason that I did that is because I couldn't understand why guys put themselves uh, at a disadvantage by allowing for a woman to then put them in their phone as food. Or they know that they are about to spend this money on this woman and this woman is about to take advantage of them and then, you know, go out and mess with a dude for free or guys then, you know, getting in relationships with uh, women that already have children and then they become step baby daddies. And then it's a, a no win situation because they then adopt a child. Or even in this case, in this particular situation where guys spend money on OnlyFans and women that don't actually bring any value to them in their life. But then I realized as I continue to get older and wiser and stronger and so on and so forth is that regardless of how I'm doing, and let's be clear, right? I am still affected because it's similar to the issue that black people have, right? And that the stereotype is actually real because it's a cultural norm within our society for black people to do some of the things that they're doing. And if you go into any of these cities, if you go into Chicago, if you go into um you know houston or you you name a liberal city is there and you go into any hood st louis baltimore whatever we do some of the worst things that's for ourselves we have a low turn uh voter voter turnout rate i was just on a millionaire morning show and i was having a conversation and i was sharing with the people that the voter turnout rate in baltimore from ages 18 through 34 is less than six percent in the local elections And so the stereotype then become real and you can't necessarily escape it. And it takes you actually doing things 10 times more or than the cultural norm of the things that you have to be subjected to. If I go out, right, and a chick don't necessarily know me, yeah, my chick may may submit to me. But if a chick don't know me and I go into a restaurant and I'm dealing with a certain woman and she got an attitude, that then affects me. If my homeboy is down and out, but I'm doing good, that then affects me. And, it, and the only reason that women have have been able to make the strides that they've made in society is because it's not that they're stronger than men. It's not that they're better than you. It's that they all on sister code one way or another, and they recruit each other for 
the worst or the best thing for them, regardless of what, what end of the aisle that you stand on. And they do the thing that's in their best own interest, understanding that they then benefit. As res See, women are, are, are smart. They're resourceful, right? Whether they're a part of the sisterhood, which is not actually good for them, or they're in a relationship, the ones that submit, they understand that pouring into you then allows for them to then become the beneficiary. And it's the same thing when it comes to OnlyFans and all this stuff. They know that you gonna simple. If fifty nine out of uh, out of sixty men then hold themselves together and exercise a level of dick discipline that this woman go through, and then it's that sixtieth man that's gonna save her and simp out. It then validates her behavior that that allows for her to continue to do the worst thing for us, which is why Western culture is affecting the rest of the world. It's not even just. It's not even just contained within Western United States of America. And so she's right. If guys would stop patronizing her, which it doesn't absolve her from being held accountable, if guys would stop patronizing her and simping out and spending money on her, then she would go out of business. OnlyFans should not even exist. OnlyFans is supposed to be existing for celebrities and content creators. It's supposed to be like Patreon. But then they finessed it and they turned it into their biggest money maker. And now when you think of OnlyFans, it's relating to women that then do stuff like this or jump online or get paid for doing stuff that they should not be getting paid for in the first place. And now we've devolved so much as a society that we're now validating the behavior, right? And more women, more than ever, are now... She's just said she's making doctor money. For what? For what? She's not adding value into nobody's life. She's not teaching nobody how to get money. She's not making the society better. She's not leaving this earth better as a result of her being here. The only reason that she's doing it is because she is a woman. That is it. Only reason that she's able to get that bag and allegedly make four hundred thousand to a million dollars a year is because she's a woman. And guys actually validate this bad behavior. They validate it in a in a way that they move. Y'all continuing to have this conversation about why women shouldn't work. Yo, I just seen a video with Les Brown come on, come, come down my algorithm on Instagram where he basically leaned to that same dumb narrative. Now, Les Brown is is definitely the GOAT when it comes to motivational speaking and getting to the, getting to the bag. But when it comes to relationships, they leading you astray because the one thing that men have not been able to solve in all of our years on this earth is being able to have dick discipline and not leaning into the narrative that these women should be able to take advantage of you financially just because they look a certain way. And she is, it's unfortunate that I got to agree with her, but she's 100% right. 10 times out of 10, she's 100% right. There's no reason why y'all should even be in a position to where a woman can take advantage of you like this. Tell you to your face that you're going to do it. And I bet you it probably still got her more visibility than she had before she came on this platform. Or her saying whatever she, it is. She, I bet you she ain't lose one subscriber to, to her to her OF. I guarantee you that she didn't lose one subscriber. And it's unfortunate because guys will hear this and it will still simp out for her. Because it's always going to be one waiting in the wings. Or maybe 10. Or maybe 100. Or maybe 1,000. Because she definitely ain't getting to a million by one. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm out.